With the conclusion of the World Baseball Classic and with Major League Baseball opening day right around the corner, I thought it'd be a good time to highlight a bunch of baseball themed pinball machines. So let's do that right here, right now, on Digital Victory. <laughs> and that is my brother and I from 1995. That's me at bat, back when I was uh, young and had a lot of hair. Those days are gone. Anyway, first up, big hit baseball from Gottlieb. And you'll notice a the theme here is just about every table we show is by Gottlieb. Matter of fact, all but one. So let's check this out. All right, this is uh, quite reminiscent of pro football in that there's no plunger action at all. You hold both flipper buttons to shoot the ball out. And it's got a similar layout as well to pro football, which I really like. Pro football is a fun old school table. It is old school though. So you got to, like you see there, you got to go in knowing that at the start and be ready for it. Cause uh, a lot different than what we get nowadays for sure. wonderfully wrought and this is terrific it plays great whoever created this did a bang up job uh, and look at it look at the lighting man that's fantastic that playfield lighting is just like you would see back in the day love it like pro football one of those uh -oh. ah, old school tables that not only gives you a regular pinball score, but you also have a runs scored. So you get a free game by you know hitting a certain number of runs and a certain number of uh, points. Oh, man. Tough game, as as the old tables always are, but. Uh, I just really dig the feel of it and the sounds, the lighting. Yeah, this, this is fun. So this is Big Hit Baseball by Gottlieb, 77. I really like it. I don't like the two uh, pop bumpers there. They get in the way of the plungers and you basically make the plungers impossible to hit. But other than that, I love this table. But speaking of those pop bumpers, this is Play Ball by Gottlieb spiritual predecessor to the previous game but without those dang pop bumpers in the middle which I really like because those things are annoying as heck this is 1971 and it looks like it <laughs> to be fair but uh, it's fun if you like the older tables and I think they're a nice break sometimes I don't play them all that often. But they get some run. This is one of those cool VPX tables with the post-it note there. Old solid state tables with the post-it note, which I like. Or EM tables, I should say. But if you notice, that top score, seven, hey, all right. 7,500 points. How in the heck do you score that high on this table? You gotta have a great run to do that, man. The whole key are those push-in targets, which I'm terrible at hitting, by the way. Man, I've had zero luck. Those out lanes are just dirty. Two more balls to go. I'm at 3,000. That's a pretty high score for me, man. On this table.
Reserve is better than even not even trying to go through push in targets. Because they're tough to hit for me anyway. And if I can get oh boy, 300 points up top going through that loop. Almost as good as that 500. Of course, I haven't been able to hit that loop very much either, to be honest with you. Fun table, though. As soon as I say that, it <laughs> kills me. All right. 5,300, last ball. Oh, man. I like this table, though. Not bad for 1971. Well, I didn't do as bad as I thought. Would have loved to get the 7,500, but I'll take what I got. This is Play Ball by Gottlieb. Let's check out another. This is Grand Slam Baseball 1982 Gottlieb table. And this was interesting. It's got those cool drop down letters in the middle. Well, I guess you'd call them flip up letters, really. Because you hit it through there and it flips them up. And if you hit it hard enough, they'll catch. That's a pretty neat mechanic. I don't recall seeing that before. If you're familiar with a table that has that, let me know. I'd be curious to read that in the comments. I dig it. Oh, no. Get over there. Yeah. You notice the in lanes and out lanes are reversed on the right side. Ah, shoot. Two more. Let's get those. Dang it. All right, here we go. Let's get that H and then uh, see what else we can mess with here. Now, this is an older table, and I don't just mean because it was created in the 80s. Um, it's an older VPX build, and it feels like it. You know, it's showing its age a little bit in the physics and certainly the artwork. No! Um, I would love to see a modern build of this. That'd be great. What well, VPW could do wonders on a table like this, man. The physics kind of feel dated and certainly the, the graphics are not quite up to snuff. Lighting's pretty decent. Ah, sh <laughs> My play isn't, though. Uh, this is Grand Slam Baseball. Let's look at another. Chicago Triple Play Baseball. Let's check it out. This is from 1985. Yet another Gottlieb table. I like, I like the layout. Ooh, don't like that though. But that's part of baseball. Boy, this just screams 80s, doesn't it? Oh my. Let's get some of those... Drop targets knocked down. Spell triple play. Yikes. Well, how did it go down there? Wow. Brutal. Even got a flipper there protecting it. It's still in there. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's not very fun. Oh, man. I'm going to have to give that another run because that was not okay. Why am I putting in my initials? I don't know. <laughs> Let's just start another game. Here we go. Man, those sounds just... Woof! Gotta love the 80s. Mental note, don't let it near the left side. Jeez. One more. side lane. Shoot drop targets to light extra ball. Let's go. Okay. Okay, did I light extra ball? No! Shoot! I had extra ball little over there. I think that's extra ball light. Let's see. It's still green. He 
do a post pass with this table? Eesh, not really. Jesus, <laughs> that's just, that is not fun. Man, that's a, uh... now see, you would think in testing, that would stick out and people would say, oh, we gotta fix that, but apparently they didn't, so. <laughs> I wanna like this game, I really do. And if I was a programmer for this, I would find some way to make an adjustment on that, but I don't know how to program VPX tables. But man, if they could adjust that so it wasn't so brutal, it'd be a lot more fun. This is Chicago Triple Play Baseball. Let's look at another. And now the winner, the number one baseball table in my collection anyway. This is Frank Thomas, Big Hurt Baseball. Absolutely terrific game. Brand new version just released this month over at VP Forums. Got the link below. This game is a blast, and I have no idea how to play it yet. But I've noticed some cool things while play, playing it. They have a, uh, a stolen base award. So apparently there's a way to steal bases in the game, although I've not figured it out yet. I barely played it at all. Can't wait to, though. Maybe I'll do a tutorial. I don't know. I've begun some kind of round here. Hey, multi-ball. Yo, Grand Slam, let's go. Lost my multi-ball. Player's choice. Ooh, add to Grand Slam or multi-ball. We'll go multi-ball. Always like a good multi-ball, even though I stink at them. A looper in the left. Going up the middle, I think I'm supposed to do that. Trying to hit that yellow thing, okay. <laughs> Let's go. That was awesome. This game is awesome. That wasn't awesome. Ah, oh, shoot. I am digging this big time. Great artwork. Typical 90s pinball musics and sounds. This is a winner. Well, they got all kinds of neat mechanics in this game, huh? I'm trying to watch the DMD, which is... Oh, they have actual full innings that you play. Wow! It's a three in now four innings completed. I don't know how it all works, but it's cool as heck. Wow, this is great. Oh, you collect baseball cards? Get out. I dig this. Trying to hit those drop targets. Trade all cards for advanced innings? Sure, yeah, let's do it. Five innings completed. Ooh, tough break there. This is Big Herd Baseball, Gottlieb, 1995. This is the winner. Thanks so much for watching, folks. I hope you uh, saw some tables that you like. You can download them at the links I've included in the description, okay? Thanks, guys, for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.